Hi there, good to see you. My name is Stefan Glenzer. I'm the first investor of LastFM. Invested in LastFM in early 2005 and acted as executive chairman until the sale uh, of LastFM to CBS. Okay. How did you meet the guys that started LastFM? I know they were, you mentioned, all younger in their 20s and how did you come in contact with them? Basically, basically I started in 2003, I think, uh, 26 in my blog, a German blogging community. And more and more of our bloggers just wrote about Last FM. And then I checked the website and I liked it because I was a DJ in my, in my pre-professional life. Uh, found some great music and I decided to just send them a mail. And surprisingly they were based in London as well. So we met and yeah, there was some chemistry working between us. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. Cool. Um, and I know one thing um, we wanted to ask you about is we did an interview with Tim Westergren at Pandora um, just last week. And we were asking him about all the licensing issues people are talking about. And he really seemed to take the tack that the laws that um, Pandora thinks matter are the laws where their listeners are. So if you're in um, Maastricht, where we are, mm -hmm. you can't listen to them because, you know, but if you're in the United States, you can. And it sounds like from your presentation, Last FM takes the tack that the laws that matter to you are where you are based and where you're putting out your signals from. Is that both? Both are right. So okay. first, first of all, I, I think Pandora is a great service as well. So I have highest respect of Pandora. Uh, in this case, usually it's it's uh, it's not an advantage to be a European company. In this case, it is an advantage because our servers are not based in the US. That means we can serve for the European, for the Asian and for the US community. Because our main law is the UK law and it's in this case it's a bit more helpful compared to the US law. Were you surprised? I know you mentioned that not many European companies expressed interest in buying Pandora and in, or in buying Last FM rather, so you went instead with CBS. Was that surprising to you that not many in a, bigger companies? In a, in a way it, it, it was quite surprising because uh, even though US is our biggest market with roughly 25% market share, but we have 50% of our usage is all over Europe. So Europe is, as one market, the bigger market. And I always thought, okay, I do understand that in the first wave of internet, it was all US centric and US dominated. But if you just read some interviews, some, some opinions of, of, of big European media uh, companies, I thought they are, they understood how important it is to be present in the, in the, in the net and, and be on the edge of the digital evolvement. So that's why I was a bit surprised that no one came to at least talk to the biggest European social network. Mm -hmm. What do you think will keep Last FM competitive in the market when it seems like now, um, for instance, today two of the guys talking about the sound recognition and technology. I mean, essentially, as a user, it sounds yeah. to me like very similar products. What you know, and so many people are getting into these Web 2.0 things. What will keep you guys yeah, but, at the forefront? But that's 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 Anything. just no. Yeah, but that's exciting. So many people. And I'm pretty sure they will come up with some great ideas. We are still driven by a lot of passion within Last FM when it comes to just finding the right ears for the right music. Uh, and I, I'm quite convinced that this will continue for, for quite a while. And uh, we do have a certain critical mass that helps us achieving this. Yeah. Do you think you'll be able to keep that? Yes, I'm absolutely convinced about it. Absolutely okay. convinced. Um, and I know you also expressed interest in um, the hype machine. What um, about that interests you? I, I just, first of all, I, I, I have highest respect of all young entrepreneurs because that's probably, that I'm an entrepreneur my whole life. When I left university, I, I started my first company. So I, I love being this, or being in this <laughs> entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial spirit. And I just, when I met Anthony first time, that's a year ago, I just thought, yeah, he's a great guy. And you know, without any big capital or whatever, I've, I've highest respect of someone who had an, had an idea and just creates a website and just get it going. And in this case, Hype Machine is, is even gaining some traction, so I'm, I'm happy, I'm open, uh, and I like it. Do you think that's a lot um, different approach to be kind of mining the blogosphere as he's doing? Do you think that's something that will become a bigger 
trend yeah. what people mean. Yeah. I, I, I think this is this is really because it, 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 it's using the the wisdom of the blogosphere and I so I'm personally quite bullish about the blogosphere so I think he's sitting on a good model yeah very cool and um, finally I guess as someone who's really into music what are you what groups or musicians are you most excited about recently? I'm, I'm currently quite in the chill out phase so it's, it's all about Moby, Zero Seven, uh, all this sort of stuff and yeah it makes me happy. Cool, uh, okay. I think that's it. Great. Thank you very much, I Thanks appreciate it. Thanks a lot. It. Enjoy. No